what's going on everybody this is john j gaming on the mind cure coming at you with a brand new season of memphis tigers football here on ncaa 2012 and we open things up with one of the most high key programs coming into liberty bowl stadium we are taking on the number one team in the entire country we are taking on the alabama Crimson Tide, and they live up to that number one billing. They're going to be coming into our house here in this episode with an A-plus overall squad, B-plus offense, A-plus defense, whereas for our team, we are much improved from when we started this series. We're C-pluses across the board, and it's going to cause us to really bring our A game if we're going to have any chance of taking down the number one team even in our home stadium. But with that being said, guys, since we are at the start of the new season, we do got to show some of the new custom guys that are joining the team. And we will start over at the quarterback position. We got Kyler Tyler at number seven. He is a pocket passer from Virginia, and he will be redshirted this season. At running back, we have Dexter Sanders, who's going to be wearing number 26. He's from Snellville, Georgia. On the offensive line, we have Montavious Jones from Mississippi, who should be a good contributor for us right away. And then at corner, we'll have Byron Mickey, who we should see every once in a while, could make some good plays for us in his true freshman season. But with that being said, guys, let's not play around anymore. I hope you guys are excited about this video. Playing against the number one team in the nation. Let's go onto the field to see if we can pull off the biggest upset in school history. Let's go, baby. All right, boys. So our defense is going to come out on the field against the number one team in the land. And they'll start by dropping back the pass. And they got a clean pocket to work with. But thankfully, one of our safeties comes in and deflects that pass away. That is Ed Davis, who got two hands on the ball but could not corral that pass in. Hopefully, our defense can hold strong as we'll get him to a third and short early. Going to be a critical third down. I would not be shocked if they tried to run the ball right down our throats. As we'll go ahead and bring an extra guy in the box as they do end up running the ball. And our defense holds. They actually hold it down. So we will force fourth down. And Alabama, they are going to be aggressive early on in this game. They are actually going to go for it here on fourth down. We kind of sell on the run in. They actually decide to pass the football. A very cunning choice. Knowing that we are going to load up that box. And now Alabama, they get a fresh set of downs to work with once again. Although that pass will end up being incomplete. So no red zone opportunity for the Crimson Tide just yet. As Richardson will drop back. Looks over the middle of the field. Finds his superstar receiver. And that's good for a first down. So first and 10 coming up as they'll look over to the right-hand side. That's going to be completed, and then it's going to be a touchdown for the Crimson Tide. So while we ended up going free and out our first drive of the game, we end up giving a touchdown the other way. So this offense is going to be tested for sure as we have Joseph Thompson. He ends up winning the starting job out of camp. It was a tough decision. And you can see why he wins that starting job. He's got a cannon of an arm. And uses that cannon in order to find Jody Gentry down the field for a huge first down. But now we've got to capitalize and finish off this drive. And we'll start by running the ball to Fletcher uh, as Mark Fletcher. Actually, also, uh, we had a running back battle in spring ball. And... We did let him win that one as well. And second and short now, looking over the middle of the field, trying to get it out to David Davenport. But that is going to be incomplete, though. So now, third and short coming up as a look to try to run downfield to pick up this first down. But I don't like how this option play is structured, so we do end up making a change at the line of scrimmage. Just trying to test that five-man front for Alabama, and sure enough, Alabama holds up themselves, and it's going to be a decision time 
four of us Tigers. And we're going for it. Fourth and inches. We got to go for this first down. If we don't pick up an inch here, well, we don't deserve to win this game. And sure enough, the parting of the Red Sea opens up. And it's going to be a first down for the Tigers. So now red zone opportunity coming in and ensuing for us here. And Thompson again is going to run the ball right up the middle of the field. As that will go for a gain of seven. So now second and short coming up as Thompson looks around. Tries to throw it to Andre Fletcher yet again. Uh, did not get off of that first read unfortunately as Joseph Thompson. He was locked in on that. Had the tight end open and just did not see him. So now third and free coming up. So we're going to try to go a little bit of trickeration. Going out of the Wildcat. Jody Gentry trying to pick up that first down but cannot get there. He's going to be a yard shy. Will we go for it again on fourth down? Yes, we will. Fourth and one. We're going to try to throw for the first down. Thompson drops back. He's going to run for it. And Thompson gets walloped. By a couple of the Bama linebackers, but holds on to the ball, though. And it's going to be a first and goal for the Memphis Tigers. Trying to throw it to the end zone to even it up, and it's going to be incomplete. Deflected away at the last moment. So we'll try to run it in this time on the second and goal. And Andre Fletcher able to find some space to work, and that's a touchdown for your Memphis Tigers. And all of a sudden, we got a time ball game here in this first quarter of action but we force Alabama to go free and out on their next possession so we actually have an opportunity to come out here and take the lead as late in the first quarter Thompson will drop back the pass gets it out to Jacoby Johnson the sophomore four star at the tight end position he'll pick up a few yards on that as we go back to an early money maker this whole spacings concept which opens up a lot of space for us to go ahead and run for that first down. Thompson really taking advantage of the fact that they are playing man-to-man -man coverage across the board. We're able to turn that into positive yardage. As we get it back to the ground game on another first and 10. Andre Fletcher looking for some space to work and does pick up another five yards but gets a little bit shaken up. So now Chase Mitchell has to come into the game now. This is our backup running back, and this is why he lost a job in spring ball. The ball protection, the ball control, not completely there, Chase Mitchell. And it shows there as the linebacker came in there and absolutely blew that play up. So we end the first quarter on that note, but right now we are playing tough against the number one team in the nation. We are all knotted up at seven apiece after one quarter of football action to start season six. So now we jump into that second quarter of action. And while we actually did force a free and out, so Alabama does not get any points on the board. We are pinned pretty deep, so trying to just get out of the shadow of our own goal line. Sure enough, Andre Fletcher might have that and then some. He's down the sideline. 40. 30, 25, makes another man miss. He's going to finally be chopped down from behind at the 10-yard line. Massive play for Andre Fletcher as everyone's eyes was on Joseph Thompson as they were trying to run that speed option. Worked to perfection there. So let's see if we can put points on the board here. A second and goal now. Chase Mitchell will run the football. He'll get up. A few yards up the line of scrimmage, but then he gets hurt too. So then our third string running back has to come into the game, Roy B. Smidlap. Our third string tailback. First carry of the season for him, and he just has nowhere to go with the football, unfortunately. So that does mean that we'll have to bring our field goal team out. Tommy Watt will get his first field goal of the season. And that kick is going to be up. And it's going to be good as well. Seven plays, 94 yards. Still an absolutely incredible drive. You can't be mad at it. And more importantly, it does give us the lead as well. As we jump into that second quarter of action. Got him on a third and long. But got it went to take on the flat route. Unfortunately, let that little soft spot in the zone open up even wider. So, ends up being a long game for the Alabama Crimson Tide. 
who are nearly at midfield already. Next play, they'll go back to the ground game. It's, there's a ball on the ground, and Copeland's going to recover. I'm not sure if that's a legitimate fumble or not, but what I do love is that this defense, well, they are playing until, until that final whistle blows. But they do end up overturning this call, though, so it's going to be a third and short for the Alabama Crimson Tide. And I imagine they're going to go to the ground again. They do! And look at this defense! It is standing up and making some plays. That was TJ Cannon that made that final tackle. But once again, the Alabama Crimson Tide, they will come out for this fourth and short. Let's see what they decide to do. They're going to pass the ball. They're going to look to go downfield. One-on-one -on -one coverage, but our defense holds. Great job on the outside. That's William Coolbeans that's able to make the deflection. And that being said, here comes the Memphis Tigers. 3.30 left in the first half. They have a chance to finish really strong here as they are going to try and dump this off to Andre Fletcher uh, on the halfback screen. That does not work out for us, though. So it ends up being second and 10 instead. This time... We'll go with a jet sweep for IT Thomas, and that does work a little bit better. We'll pick up a gain of six off of that. Third and short coming up, though. I want to get at least one first down. We'll go with a five vertical set as we got five wide receivers on the field. Thompson's going to be in the shotgun formation. He's got some time to work. Fires over the middle of the field. Finds Trayvon Randolph for the first down. You love to see it. Let's go, baby. And it gives us a brand new set of downs to work with temporarily, but facing third and nine, we'll see if we can make more magic happen. Thompson again lining up, but he's going to try to run upfield himself, but this time they did have a spy, so we couldn't get away with that that easily. We do get to Jody Gentry for a couple of yards, but it's going to be a long field goal attempt here for Tommy Wyatt. As they're trying to run down some of this clock before we go into the halftime locker room. And we will end up extending this lead a little bit more. Now we can't lose off, or at least we can't tie off of a field goal. It ends up being a 52-yard attempt at Tommy White. He's going to waste right through as that does end up taking us through the first half of action. And we might have the biggest upset in school history on our hands right now. 13-7 is your score in the halftime locker room. We're one half away from finishing it off. So now let's go ahead and jump into the second half of action as Alabama does end up taking the field. We did get the ball start this game, but our first possession was a free and out. So that's why you didn't see our initial first possession of the game. <clears throat> so now Alabama gets to start with the football. A chance for them to come out. See what kind of adjustments that they make on the offensive side of the ball. We'll see if they go to that passing game a little bit more. Found some success with it in the first half, but just didn't really use it enough necessarily. We'll see if they get more pass happy here in the second half as they do call yet another passing play. Got a slant pattern over right inside. I think that's their game plan. They want to exploit our corners. While our corners and defensive backs in general, a little bit better than last year, you know, this Alabama receiving core, it's just built different. You know, they're constantly sending guys to the NFL. You know, they're not messing around, but Kemp Cool Beans. He's going to get an interception down the sideline. He's going to be tackled by the quarterback. But we get to midfield. Let's go, baby. Alabama was driving, and Cool Beans finishes it off. Tops it off like a dessert at a five-course meal. And now we take over with a chance to extend this lead. First and 10. D'Angelo Bryden goes into the motion and hands the ball off to Andre Fletcher. And just runs into a brick wall. Goes for a 5-yard gain. Does have some solid stats over 110 yards rushing. But many of them coming off of that speed option play in the first half. But third and short though as we try to take advantage of the turnover. Thompson drops back. He's looking for somebody to get open. Finally gets it to IT Thomas, who actually has to get down on the ground in order to make that catch happen. And I'm actually not 100% sure if that was actually a completion or not. So to play it safe, we're just going to go into our no huddle. I want to try to make sure that this play actually counts. Don't want to give them a chance 
to try and review this. Thompson walking over the middle of the field. Fires. Going to try to get it off. I think that was IT Thomas again, but that's also incomplete. Can he just straight up dropped a pass. You hate to see it. So now it's going to be a third and long once again. And with not a lot of guys in the box, we're going to try to pull a fast one. Call this halfback draw, but Alabama was, well, they were more than ready for it. And we will have to punt this ball away. As that does end the third quarter of action. Not a lot happening in that quarter in particular. Still the same score that we got going on. But we are still going to be up by a grand total of six points. Fourth quarter coming your way as we try to pull the upset against the number one team in the nation. So now we go into that fourth and very pitiful quarter. Let's see if we can make some things happen here in this fourth quarter as more. He's out in the backfield. He's going to try to run for the first down. He's got that and then some breaks the tackle. Last line of defense actually has to come in and make a play. I believe that's Dan Daniel that did that. So another first and ten before they run the ball once again more. Breaks the tackle. He's up for the races. And it looks like he's going to be gone. Like a girl in a country song. Touchdown Alabama. And the Crimson Tide here in the first quarter. Well, they're going to take their first lead since early on in this ball game. So down by one singular point. Does our offense have enough to win this game? The defense has done its job as we throw over the middle. To IT Thomas, they will provide us with that first down. Let's see if we can get a few of those strung together. Because really, we all we need is a field goal. That's all we need. As we got third and four coming up. Thompson looking around. It's going to wait. Tries to throw down field the last moment. But he gets hit as he threw the ball. So it did not reach its intended target though. And we will go for it here in the fourth quarter. Four yards that we need to get this uh, drive alive. As Thompson again drops back. He wants to try to run for the first down. But he's going to be chopped down before the first down marker. And while we force a critical three and out. There's less time on that clock. Less than four minutes left to play. So this could possibly be our final drive that we have in this ball game. So we really got to make this drive count. We'll see if our team is capable of driving the ball down the field. They're able to get some explosive plays. But we haven't been able to have that methodical and steady state drive. We have not had that all game today. And this is kind of what I expected, to be honest with you. Alabama, you know, they have an A-plus rated defense. I knew we were going to struggle to move the ball today. This is going to be the best way for us to try to win this game. Try to go and make it dirty. Try to make it a slow-paced game. Low scoring, and you know that's what we've done for so for some time now. But can our offense get points when it matters the most? They gotta get this third and ten. Thompson's in the shotgun, got four wide receivers out on the field. We'll send Jody Gentry on a go pattern because it looks like cover one. He's gonna be covered, but IT Thomas is open though in the middle of the field, and that's big because that will provide us. With a first down, the elephant mascot, he's not happy at all. Couple of plays later, trying to direct the offense once more. Thompson, got a blitz, sent his way, but we find IT Thomas again. That's another critical catch here in this fourth quarter that leads right into a first down. So getting to the fringes of Tommy White's field goal range. We know he's an elite kicker for us, but do want to drive it just a little bit closer and of course, it wouldn't be a bad idea either if we can come out here and get some time off the clock. Ideally, I want whatever we do to be the last thing that we end up doing. Third and one. We're going to run the ball with Andre Fletcher. It's not going to be a first down. Big decision here. And you know what? At this point in the game, I trust our kicker. We're going to take the points. This would give us a one point. It gives us a two point advantage versus the number one team in the nation. The kick is up and it's good. It's going to be good. We have the lead against the number one team in the nation. And now it's the defense's time to shine. Alabama, they just need a field goal to win this game. First and 10. Dropping back, looks over the middle of the field, finds his receiver. In triple coverage. 
How do you do this? I have no idea. But now Alabama just needs a couple of first downs before they comfortably get into field goal range themselves. First and 10. Dropping back. They're trying to set up the screen, but the screen is no good. Matt Scales, the preseason All-American, he was able to snuff it out. So now that leads to a second and 10 coming up. Going to send the blitz. Try to send some pressure as they look down the middle of the field. And that's a really good throw. Thankfully, we got it deflected away at the final moment. Third and long now. Two more plays is what I need from this defense. Miller goes into the motion. He had a 20-yard catch earlier in the drive. And it's another screen. Snuffed out and deflected away. And thank goodness that it was. Because that could have been big yardage if that went through. Fourth down coming up. Dropping back. Richardson with a chance to possibly win the game. And we got him. We got him. Down goes Alabama. As the Crimson Tide failed to convert the fourth down conversion. And the biggest upset in school history is going to be completed we beat number one Alabama here at the Liberty Bowl Stadium 16 to 14. And they will not be able to keep this fan base off the field tonight. This is a field storming moment and you love to see it to start the year. But we don't only do some pretty big things on the football field, but what we were also able to accomplish as well is that, hey, we were able to actually sign a couple of guys. So if you really do love to see that, one of those is a free star in the name of Joe Walker, who's a coverage guy out of Houston, Mississippi, who's going to help our free safety need that we had going into the offseason. And then not only that, but we also get another safety, a high free star by the name of Craig Clark out of Green Hills, Tennessee. One of the guys in our pipeline state in the home state of Tennessee and should be a very good player that's going to be joining our football program as well. So well, we only got a couple of signings here in the first couple of weeks of the season. We're off to a pretty good start on the recruiting front. But guys, I did not get the stats from that game because... Right after uh, I ended up getting the thumbnail, you know, for this video, obviously that you're going to see on screen, uh, we ended up having the emulator crash. So I did not get the game stats for this video and I did not want to lose progress to where I had to play the number one team in the nation all over again. Right. So we're one and oh, and we're going on the road to take on an Illinois squad who actually was ranked to start this season, but they did lose a game unexpectedly because we did have a bye week in week number two. So still a pretty good team in Illinois. We got to go on the road for the very first time this season. And we're going to come out here and listen, we beat Alabama. So that just proves that we can beat just about everybody. But that doesn't mean we can't take any team for granted. But I am feeling good. So if you guys are feeling good as well, I need you guys to go ahead and do me a huge favor. Go ahead and smack that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button as well. If you do have to be brand new to the channel, this is John J. Gaming on the mic signing off. But hoping you guys are all out there having a good one. Take care, everybody.